So I thought I would do a video series with you guys and breaking it down into what's good about these, what's bad about these, let's clean this up, let's remove the spikes, let's unpot this, see, let's see what's in this, let's repot these up so they're gonna last long term, and we'll give this spider plant a, a good healthy home as well. So that's coming up on this video series. Okay, let's carry on with part two of this video series. If you missed part one, it was just a little bit of a breakdown about the good, the bad, and the ugly of these planters that you get in florist shops. Um, so this video, we are going to actually be having a look at the flower stalks, and I'm gonna back you up a bit, but um, we're gonna have, you, uh, have a look at the flower stalks and give them a cut off and see what we can do with these guys. So hopefully you'll be able to see there. I'm just trying to set up the camera so it's nice for both of us to work. As I said in the other video, we have four stalks we have to deal with. Each stalk has a piece of wire in it. Um, and they've gone through the tr added trouble of bending the wire. So the stalk flows along the bent wire, which is kind of nice. A bit of added value that um, you, you likely paid for. But the first thing we're going to do is there is a dead stalk in here completely. So this one is, it's just dead. You can see right there, it's brown. There's nothing we can do with this one, it is gone. So what I recommend is just using a pair of sterilized scissors. Now I have sterilized my scissors with some rubbing alcohol just before we started. I just let them soak in there for about three or four minutes and then sort of air dry. They're still wet, but um, what we want to do is just find the base of this flower and give it a nip off. The dry one is going to come off very easily. So I'm not sure what the best view here is for you. Hopefully you can see down there, one flower site crosses the other one. So I'm just gonna go quite low underneath and about an inch up from the plant, maybe a little bit less. I'm gonna cut that and then we can remove the spike itself. So there, I made the cut and I'm going to remove this spike here. And there it is. So for this one, when they're dry like this, there's no coming back. Might as well throw that in the trash. And I'm gonna keep the wire though. The wire always comes in handy for stuff. So we'll put that down there. And now we're down to three spikes on here. So let's assess this spike right here in the front. It has got one nice flower left on it and one bud that's still to open. But if you look here, it's dying at this tip. So that's kind of strange. Um, let's have a better look by removing the twist tie here. So you can see where it is actually died right down to this and this is kind of strange because you don't see this very often i'm just unlocking the tripod again you try to move you around and and get you to have a look at it here hold on there we go you were locked in tight in position so with this spike here i would say the best option is going to be well we're going to do different options right so i think what i'm going to do is with my same pair of scissors is just do that cut there and for safety sakes, I'm going to get rid of the metal that's in there. And if this little thing breaks, it breaks because it's on its way out anyways. So I'm going to get rid of that metal. We'll toss that down. And that is a look at that flower spike. So well now let's look at this one over here. We're saving the best to last, right? So this one's in about the same, same kind of position. We have one that is left on here and it's starting to die back. You can see it's not quite crispy, but it is, um, it is dying. So let's put that there and give you a quick look in there at it. So you can see up here in the top corner of your screen that it's starting to fade. So another option that we can do with this guy is cut it back enough that it's maybe going to rebloom off a, a node down here. Now I know we still have this single butt up here. But if you're waiting for that bud, you might be waiting a long time and it might just blast anyways. So you can sometimes get fowls to rebloom by having them grow again off one of these nodes. So if you look really close here, I'm gonna um, take you in close. Right here below the twist tie is a node. And there's several nodes. They run about every two inches, every three inches there's a node. So this one here, behind the twist tie looks okay, but I think this one looks very fresh. The one behind the twist tie, I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's got kind of a dead tip on the end. It's just got a little bit of damage to it. So what I'm gonna do is cut this orchid back to that third node there, and maybe it's going to regrow a spike again. So 
let's do this and cut it off for good measure I will reapply some alcohol to the scissors just with a shake there now they're nice and wet again I um, don't think that this plant will be in any way um, diseased but now that the um, the metals drying on it we'll um, reapply some new alcohol to it just to keep it nice and sterile so I removed this one this had a dangerous hook in the bottom of it which I pulled out which who knows what kind of roots I just wrecked but as I said in the first video of this series we are gonna have to dig in here together to find out what's going on in the pot but we got to get there first right so I'm going to cut this guy down so I can clearly see one two three nodes and I'm going to cut it just above the third node there we go so we have a fresh cut there and that almost takes care of that spike as well I've just wandered off into the greenhouse because I'm going to get another um, little product we have so I have a little container here of cinnamon and since this is a nice green cut compared to the other ones that were dried cuts I'm going to just apply a little bit of cinnamon to it and that's just going to stop some bacteria from getting in so just a pinch and you just put it right on the moist cut and kind of shove it on the end there I don't know if it really helps or not but um, it can't hurt so I usually I don't have an issue with these things getting infected but you know if you're not using totally clean scissors or for whatever reason you cut that that's just one less chance of it getting infected and now we are down to this last flower here so what to do with this one because it still looks okay but you know a couple days ago this flower stalk looked mint so it's fading fast it's um really really going downhill fast every day there's a few that are um sort of wilted on the back end of it like this and they're coming off pretty fast so i think within the next couple days i'm going to have to remove this spike but since it's still got beautiful flowers on um we're going to leave it i'm just going to pull off the dying ones here's a bud that blasted so that's not gonna it's just mush now that bud can come off just like so and I think what I'm gonna do with this one once it's done I am gonna cut it right back to the ground again so that way honestly with with the mess the method that we did just now on this one getting it to regrow here it's sort of a shortcut but over the long term you don't get as nice of a flower spike you're gonna get something that grows out the side and looks more like this it's kind of gonna look ugly it's gonna grow out six inches and have two or three or five blooms on it but um, if you cut them right back and it has to grow a new spike you're going to get a whole new flush the reason I did this and I, as I say I normally don't do this is just giving you examples of how you can cut flower spikes there's a few different ways to do it so I think when this one dies over here remember we trimmed that one and we um, just cut the dead off when this one goes I'll probably cut it right back to the ground again and so then when this one is gone as well because these two are on the same plant that plant there is going to have no spikes whatsoever on it and it can just start fresh again and recharge and we'll see what happens with this this one here that we just put the cinnamon on though but there we go so that is how we remove flower spikes from a Phalaenopsis orchid so I hope you like this video the next video in this part is going to be discovering what these plants look like inside i think that's going to be a nice video it's going to be um, a good and juicy video for us to discover we they could be packed perfectly they could have the right media they could have the wrong media i have no idea what's going to be going on there they could be in separate pots in there they they could be all planted in one as i discussed in the last video this planter does not have holes in the bottom of it which is a big no-no for any orchid over long term this is really for display purposes only and um, we want these guys to live a long and happy life so we're going to remove them from this planter before they um before they start to run into any trouble whatsoever so if you like this video make sure you check out the previous video where i discuss the pros and cons of these planters and make sure you check out the next video where we unpot this guy together Thanks for watching.